Well, I first came to St. Paul's back in, I think it was around 2010 when my fraternity brother, uh, Brent Hitchcock, he started leading a Bible study in my fraternity and uh, I came to the Bible study and at this point I wasn't a Christian and I didn't really know what it meant to be a Christian so I probably would have called myself one. Uh, so I guess what I was hoping to find at church was what I had grown up with, just uh, I, I guess I thought of church as something that probably the source of my salvation. I thought church was the source of my salvation. Uh, so that's kind of what I came hoping to find and expecting to find. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I found. I found something much different than what I had grown up with instead. And um, I found a family of people who really cared about me. And, and most importantly, I found a family of people that uh, cared about things that were much deeper, um, hard issues, not just, not just actions and um, some moral code to live by, but, but people who really wanted to uh, tell me about what it meant to have Jesus living and active inside, inside my heart and not just controlling me. The most transformative uh, thing that I've experienced at St. Paul's is probably, I would say, the patience and, and love of the people. Um, as I kind of came to faith and started learning things and learning things very slowly um, and things that seemed really obvious probably to a lot of them, uh, how I was just allowed to learn and investigate God's will for my life on my own um, and at my own pace. And I think it was through that that I was able to experience God's grace, uh, which really is the, a, a primary component of what it means to be a Christian. So I think that's probably the, the biggest way that St. Paul's, you know, among many ways, has influenced me. Where would I be if I had not come to St. Paul's and experienced a lot of grace? Um, that's, a, that's a great question. I can probably answer it concisely and say, who knows, anywhere. It could be good, it could be really bad. When I think about my friends and family, I would hope that they would be able to experience the same kind of patience um, that I talked about earlier and the same kind of grace and love. Um, and also, I would hope that they would realize that the gospel, the message of Christianity goes a lot deeper than just actions and, and it's deeper, it's more than a moral code. And, and I would hope that they would be able to see that through the community at St. Paul's because that's, that's not what society says. That's not what society preaches. Um, and I think they've heard a lot. Society has a loud voice. I would hope that they would be able to hear God's voice over uh, the voice of our culture. I think if I had one goal for St. Paul's or um, a specific vision for how St. Paul's can really minister to the city is that um, it would involve two components. Um, the first component would be that St. Paul's would really represent the demographic of the city, um, that we would have all the socioeconomic status, all, all of that represented of different races and uh, careers and stages of life, all of that represented at St. Paul's. And the second component would be that the people of St. Paul's really would live out Christian community as, it, as it's written in the Bible. Um, that we would just see a community of, of people with the same demographic as the city, just living out what it means to be a biblical Christian community. I come to church every week and that is something that is set up in my life. It's pre-structured so that I will encounter Christ at least once a week through the community at St. Paul's and it's almost like it's almost like a reset button um, and a reminder and, and I guess it restores my vision for what my life should look like during the week.